So the beginning of my opening sequence where Evie wakes up and how she's not familiar with can identify with my audiences that it's aimed at teenagers. I'm sure they'd be used to the morning after feeling, possibly um, may know people who have slept with someone that they aren't familiar with and haven't meant to sleep with. It's quite common in teenage culture in England. Um, also, when she leaves the house uh, lighting up a cigarette, quite associated with teenagers as well. Um, my target audience may smoke or have friends that smoke. It's really quite likely, so I'm sure they could then identify with Alex's character a bit more. Um, also, at the beginning, it's set on an estate, quite a grungy area, inner city. Um, the target audience is working middle class, may have grown up in a town, city or estate, quite similar to this one, so would know kind of how that works and identify with that. Also, the phone conversation. Um, males may connect with the character of Matt being woken up, n like not wanting to go out, um, but not wanting to disappoint the girl that they like at the same time. I know it's quite an assumption to make that the males will be lazy, but my target audience may connect with that. Also, I'm sure being teenagers, they would identify with the fact that um, having arguments with their friends, it's quite a common thing in teenage culture to argue with your friends. Also, after the phone conversation, um, Alex is walking along and you get to see her full outfit with the high heels. I think females will connect with this and identify with the fact that she's wearing heels as they seem quite a feminine thing and my target audience will probably be going out to parties and wearing heels like these. Also, I think she'll be seen as attractive to the male audience. Towards the end, there's also another grungy area, another inner city area, um, which I think they'll be able to connect with. And also her outfit will be attractive to boys, so I think this would draw in my audience a lot more.